Okay, so today we've just been doing a piece of curriculum design as a group. It was Nikki, Ida, Sarah, and myself. Uh, Paul. And Paul, sorry. And um, we started off by setting ourselves a single outcome to work with, and uh, other outcomes to be treated later. And uh, the outcome we chose is a level three unit that is foundation stroke access level. So pre-HE, possibly the end of FE. And the outcome was to relate information verbally uh, and in written form uh, in an appropriate context or setting, such as FEM or e.g. academic, academic writing. Uh, so then we took that uh, outcome and we thought about how we would storyboard or plan uh, curriculum delivery in order to assess that outcome if it was being achieved. And here is the uh, work of art that we came up with. Uh, we started off with um, uh, some podcast creation, then some reference uh, related material. The pink ones are activities, the yellow post-its are uh, assessment. Uh, this actually shouldn't be yellow, it should be pink because it's the keeping of a diary which goes all the way through the sequence. So we go left to right, down and across, left to right. Uh, then we had to, they had to write a reference and cite it, but, or at least show this ability to write and cite. Uh, and the ability would be tested or assessed through multiple choice questionnaire, question, or open questionnaire. We, 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 had, we kept our options uh, flexible on that. They then had to read a text, uh, various activities then, and we start to move towards summative assessment. Um, here they'd summarize what they've read, uh, then over to um, writing an annotated bibliography. Now, this is something I should have said at the start, but this is a distance learning delivery. So we're very much uh, using technology and the internet to uh, uh, host assessments and uh, deliver a curriculum. We so, also worked on a, uh, an initial example for personal sort of, uh, evaluation and then we moved to uh, more complicated delivery, like multiple examples. Uh, by yes, we started in, in, in many of the dimensions of this, we start to, we start off at a simple one dimensional aspect and we branched out. And we followed Bloom's taxonomy as well. We used Bloom's taxonomy to decide on the, the level of uh, knowledge we were Critical thinking. And critical thinking. Very basic. Yeah, but a very basic level, yes. Um, so finally, we moved to the, uh, the, the, the end of the uh, curriculum delivery, and we're starting to use, because it's distance learning, we're using video conferencing technology. Here we have a, a sub, e, subgroups of the cohort uh, organized by achievement in the assessment so far. So we can deliver structured feedback, feedback that's tailored to their particular strengths and weaknesses. Um, and then finally, when they've gone away and reflected on that, there is a viva, which is as much about putting uh, their perspective across as it is about checking academic integrity, because this is a 100% distance learning course, and we wish to uh, recruit these students, but obviously we have to be sure that they did the work and uh, we have to use adapt the technologies to to achieve this. And again, as you said, we had to uh, make them the way, reflect on what they've done and on the process. And, and give them a bit, in between these two, give them a bit of a chance to add to the question what is going on. You know, okay, we've been trying to get them to think about that all the way through, but this is a final chance for them to maybe get something out of the Viva, the one-to-one. -one, maybe reflect a bit on, on what they've done and get it across better, put it, put, it, put it across there. Make them aware of how we're evaluating them here. You know, frame, frame this reflective stroke feedback part in such a way that the outcome here is foremost in their minds. And then we moved to the creative tool. Uh, we had a, well, lot we had, we had a lot, we had, we had a live blog running which unfortunately there's a bit of a Faraday cage here, so we, we lost that on that a bit, but we used the Open University Compendium Learning Design Tool to structure part of the, or sorry, to represent visually part of the curriculum delivery. 
So, uh, I'm just going to delete this because it should not be there. Uh, so, going back to that storyboard, or referencing the storyboard, uh, we use a tool called Claudio to produce a podcast. They have to listen to the podcast, and uh, actually, these should all be going. These are all composite tasks, which. Uh, oh. I, think, I think somebody's been playing around with this, but uh, basically, uh, these three should converge to a learning outcome. We represented the storyboard as a set of tasks which allowed us to reflect uh, on what we were doing, also to share what we were doing, because uh, it can be shared online. And we, we, we haven't done this yet, but we can also allocate resources for activities, and this gives you, uh, it helps you address the issue of um, uh, resources and finance budgeting. Uh, yeah. Uh, we did kind of briefly look at um, alternative representations of collaborative learning. Janet, <laughs> Janet Simon's, Simon's uh, uh, piece. Oh, sorry. Using Janet's uh, book, which is this here. Uh, online interviews in real time. We, we we looked at the her taxonomy of effort collaboration, online collaboration. Uh, but we could, in fact, combine the two. We can certainly we can alter these icons so they they match. Yeah, they match the icons and uh, give an alternative or uh, or a different representation of. Uh, a collaboration representation of the uh, learning design. That's it? That's it. Good. Thank you.